Soda, a heavily sugared common household beverage. Almost every day. Probably three, four times a week. Maybe one every day for some strange reason. Every morning and every night, at least. But I drink it with the uh, throughout the entire day. One liter of soda contains approximately 28 cubes of sugar. The high levels of sugar in soda puts people at a risk for diabetes. Calories contained in fluid, for example, in soda, make people less fooled than if the calories come from a solid substance. Sodas containing caffeine take up 70% of the market for sodas. So, would you say you're addicted to soda? I would say I am addicted to soda. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely addicted to soda. Soda junkie. Not quite to the addict stage yet, but very close. Actually, no, because when we go on vacation, I don't drink any soda at all. Do you think you're addicted to soda? No. Um, does anything happen when you don't drink soda? Um, <laughs> when I don't drink soda, I get major headaches, and I'm always tired, and then not very happy person. <laughs> so then, that's an addiction. No. How does it not qualify as an addiction? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Many businesses that produce soda claim that they add caffeine for reasons of flavor. Despite this, only two people out of a group of 25 people who claim that they could discern the difference in taste between caffeinated and non-caffeinated sodas actually could at the caffeine levels found in popular sodas. Is caffeine really put in soda for the purpose of adding flavor? Or is the purpose more devious than the soda makers could ever admit? To addict people to their product. When I don't drink soda, I normally crash or sleep in class. No side effects that comes from it if I stop drinking soda. Not that I've noticed. I get major headaches and I'm always tired and I'm not a very happy person. Um, would you be willing to go off soda for, say, a week? Yes, I will. So, would you be willing to go off soda for a week? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Individuals who drink diet soda are more likely to become obese than those who drink non-diet sodas. I drink soda because I enjoy the taste of it, to be honest. I also enjoy like, just, like having the energy that it gives me so I can go out throughout the day. And uh, it's just used for like a socializing event as well. So it's very nice. Keeps me awake and gives me energy. Because it's delicious. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I like the flavor in that. It sort of burns in the throat. I don't like that, but I'm fine with it. I love the taste of soda. So when you drink soda, about how much soda do you drink? Uh, usually, I would probably just drink about one can, one can of like Mountain Dew, so to say. About 42 ounces. In a day, I would have to say about 4 liters. At least a 20 ounce, if not more. 64 to 100 ounces every day. Well, soda rocks, and everyone should drink it because it is amazing. And if you don't drink soda, then you're nobody. Soda. 